the launch of NASA's Voyager probes was like the start of an amazing trip into outer space. It showed that we can keep an eye on not just Earth but also everything in our solar system and beyond. Even after 46 years, these awesome spacecraft are still giving scientists new and stunning information about space. Although their memory is 3 million times smaller than that of our smartphones and they're 38,000 times slower than our fastest 5G internet connection, these incredible probes still lead the way in exploring space. Now Voyager 1 has just made an impossible discovery in interstellar space, one that challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe. It found something so unusual that scientists are left scratching their heads. But what exactly did it find and how does it redefine our understanding of the cosmos? Let's find out. On a special day, September 5, 1977, from a place called Cape Canaveral in Florida, something amazing happened. Voyager 1 began its journey into space, launched by a powerful rocket called Titan Centaur. Just 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 joined in, starting its adventure into the universe. Their main job was to check out the big gas planets in our solar system like Jupiter and Saturn and the moons around them. But guess what? These space travelers went above and beyond. They went way out into our cosmic neighborhood, breaking lots of records on their astonishingly long trip. They've been going longer than any other spacecraft ever, and they've gone farther from Earth than anything humans have made before. They even went into a place called interstellar space, which is like going into a whole new part of our galaxy that no one explored before. These space pioneers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are more than 12 billion miles away from us now. Still, they continue to surprise scientists with the amazing things they're finding out there. And they've recently found something so unexpected that no one saw it coming. The Voyager twin probes have done some awesome stuff. More than 40 years ago, they looked at the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and totally surprised scientists. People used to think these moons were boring and full of holes like our moon, but nope, they're buzzing with activity. Voyager 2 was the first of the twins to swing by Uranus in 1986, and just three years later, it zoomed past Neptune. But here's what's interesting. It's the only spacecraft that has ever done that. As these spacecraft continue on their amazing journey, NASA is doing some tricks to make sure they keep working. They turned off some things they didn't need, like extra parts and heaters, to save power. That way, these spacecraft can keep going strong until at least 2030. For the scientists and engineers who've been part of this incredible adventure from the start, it's a mix of happy and sad feelings. They worked hard, and now when they thought the Voyager missions were almost done, a shocking discovery emerged from out of space. The information sent back by Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft have become a treasure trove for scientists. They sparked tons of discoveries and got people excited about space. These are two spacecraft that were built extra carefully, kind of like stable platforms, so they could take clear pictures and gather data while zooming through space. Even before they reached the outer planets, their pictures were already blowing scientists' minds. Voyager 1 started sending pictures of Jupiter, even though it was still far away from the planet. People at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory got excited when they saw the first pictures of Jupiter's swirling clouds and the famous Great Red Spot. But the big moment came when the Voyagers found something amazing on Jupiter's moon, Io. This moon, a bit bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most active volcano in our whole solar system. Voyager 1's tools picked up weird signals from Io, and the pictures they took showed huge volcanic eruptions and stuff flying out into space. One of Io's volcanoes called Pele erupted tremendously high, even more than Mount Everest, and covered an area almost as big as France. The Voyagers combined took more than 33,000 pictures of Jupiter and its moons. They showed how stunning Jupiter is and all the different landscapes on its moons. And before this recent and more shocking discovery, these twin spacecraft have been finding awesome things since they started their trip. Another big surprise was finding out Jupiter has rings although they're not very bright. This discovery made Jupiter even more interesting. Also, Voyager 2 discovered that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 moons, has a thick icy shell more than 60 miles thick. These discoveries made scientists rethink what they thought about these faraway things in space and got them curious about whether icy moons like Europa could be places where life could exist. As the Voyagers left Jupiter, they got a boost from the planet's gravity that acted like a powerful kick sending them towards Saturn. 
This kick was exceptionally important because it helped them break free from the sun's pull and keep going into space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 went their ways after that, heading to new places. Voyager 1 got close to Saturn's moon Titan, which has a kind of orange hazy air around it. Scientists got curious about Titan's mysteries, so they studied its complicated chemistry. Then Voyager 1 turned away from the other planets and started going beyond our solar system. On the other hand, Voyager 2 had some amazing adventures too. In 1986, it flew by Uranus and found 10 new moons, adding to the total count. Three years later, it reached Neptune, showing us the amazing things about this faraway ice giant. Voyager 2 even measured winds on Neptune going as fast as 1,000 miles per hour, the fastest ever on a planet in our solar system. When the spacecraft got close to Neptune, just 2,980 miles away, it gave us new and incredible details about this distant world. Neptune's biggest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the coldest spots in our solar system, with temperatures dropping to a freezing minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton also had these cool ice volcanoes that shot out nitrogen gas and icy stuff into its thin air. All these discoveries made us realize how different and interesting the planets and moons in our solar system can be, even the farthest ones. Imagine a space adventure story, and one person who made a big difference in keeping it going was the famous stargazer Carl Sagan. He was part of the team that took pictures for the Voyager mission, and he wanted to snap one last set of pictures before turning off the cameras. These pictures would be like a special gift for everyone on Earth, a final look at our home from way out in space. Sagan didn't give up, and it paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards the inner solar system and took 60 pictures. The most famous one is called the Pale Blue Dot. It was taken from 3.8 billion miles away, making it the farthest picture ever taken of our planet. In the photo, Earth looks tiny, like a pale blue dot in the huge space around it. Even after 40 years, these spacecraft are still out there, sending us important information from the farthest parts of space. Now let's talk about something a bit old school, the Voyager probes use, an ancient 8-track tape system. Yes, you heard it right, 8-track tapes were a big deal in the 70s, and these probes are still rocking them. It just shows how smart the people who planned this mission were, making sure these old tapes could still do the job. But why 8-track tapes, you might be wondering. Well, that's a story worth hearing. You see, in the early days of exploring space, the kind of digital storage we use today was just starting out. So they needed something tough and reliable to store important data, and those 8-track tapes turned out to be the perfect choice. What's even more interesting is that the info on these tapes isn't just regular music. It's valuable science data about planets, moons, and space between the stars. Yes, these tapes hold the answers to some of the biggest mysteries in the universe. Now think about this. The Voyager spacecraft face crazy things like astonishing hot and cold temperatures, space radiation, and the emptiness of space. But unsurprisingly, these old explorers keep going strong. It's like sending your grandparents on an adventure in Antarctica, and not only do they survive, but they thrive. The Voyager missions have this awesome move called gravity assist maneuvers. Think of it like this, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, two bold space explorers, were on a big mission to explore the way out in our solar system. To get to these faraway places and gather important information, they needed a little help, something more than just their engines. Here's where gravity assists come in, and it's kind of like a space dance. Instead of only using their engines, these spacecraft did this cool celestial dance with some of the solar system's big planets. They used the strong pull of these giants to slingshot themselves forward, saving fuel and getting the speed they needed to visit lots of different places. Gravity assist, also known as a gravitational slingshot, is about grabbing some speed from a planet as the spacecraft goes by. Imagine Voyager 1 rolling up to Jupiter, a huge gas giant with a pool to match its size. The smart minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory made sure Voyager 1 swirled past Jupiter at just the right angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity pulled at the spacecraft, making it go faster, like a space power-up. But here's the tricky part. There's an art to this move. If Voyager 1 had approached Jupiter the wrong way, it could have been pulled into the planet's atmosphere and burned up. But because the engineers at NASA were so smart, Voyager 1 flew close enough to get a speed boost without any trouble. 
And this wasn't just a one-time trick. It happened multiple times with different planets. Each time, the spacecraft used gravity to get another speed boost and to switch directions, which is how Voyager 1 got far away from the sun and deeper into space. The gravity assist maneuver was a game changer, helping Voyager 1 get past the limit of space travel in the 1970s. Even now, these spacecraft, built with tech from back then, are still giving us important data. This isn't just a big deal for space lovers. It shows how smart thinking can overcome the challenges of space exploration. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 used these gravity assists to explore the farthest parts of our solar system. They took pictures of mysterious moons, found out amazing things about distant planets, and sent back data that challenged what we knew about space. This is more than just space travel. It's a story of human curiosity, the will to explore, and how far we can go with clever ideas and smart technology. This leads us to their most recent and mind-blowing discovery. Voyager 1, our incredible space traveler, has recently been exploring a really strange and new area called interstellar space. And guess what? It made a super weird discovery there. Voyager 1's instruments detected an unusual kind of hum or buzz in the data coming from the space between the stars. Scientists were surprised because they thought interstellar space would be quiet and empty. But this hum suggests there's more going on. They think it might be coming from plasma waves or charged particles moving through space. This discovery changes what we know about the space between stars and makes us ask new questions about the mysteries of the universe. This cosmic hum is really unexpected. This incredible discovery was picked up by Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument and recorded as a really quiet, steady sound. This noise is different from the normal, louder bursts of activity that the spacecraft usually hears, and it's got scientists scratching their heads and trying to figure out what's causing it. They think it might be from low-level vibrations from the plasma, the ionized gas in the space between stars, but they're still not sure. The fact that Voyager 1, built with 70s technology, can detect something like this so far from Earth is amazing. This discovery means we need to rethink what we know about interstellar space. It shows that even in the far reaches of the universe, there's still a lot of mystery and unknown things waiting to be discovered. The cosmic hum is one of many discoveries that Voyager 1 has made on its incredible journey. It's a reminder that even though these spacecraft have been out there for more than 40 years, they're still teaching us new things about the universe. And it also shows how amazing human curiosity and technology can be. As we keep exploring space and learning more about the cosmos, who knows what other incredible discoveries await us. Voyager 1's recent discovery of the cosmic hum in interstellar space is a testament to the incredible journey of these spacecraft. It shows how much we've learned and how much there is still to discover. It's a reminder of the endless curiosity and determination that drives us to explore the unknown. And it's a sign that even in the farthest reaches of space, there are still mysteries waiting to be uncovered. The Voyager missions have been a remarkable achievement and their legacy will continue to inspire us as we venture further into the cosmos. In the vastness of interstellar space, as Voyager 1 travels deeper into the unknown, it continues to be a beacon of human curiosity and ingenuity. The cosmic hum it has detected is more than just a sound. It's a signal that even in the quietest, most distant parts of the universe, there is still so much we don't know. This discovery challenges our understanding and reminds us that the cosmos is full of surprises. Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft have paved the way for future explorations, showing us that with perseverance and innovation, we can reach further than we ever imagined. As we continue to uncover the secrets of the universe, we are reminded of the incredible journey that started over four decades ago with the launch of the Voyager probes. Their legacy lives on, inspiring us to keep exploring, keep learning, and keep reaching for the stars.